day. Every day is a day of the, the Lord. Lord. We are so glad to be back to bring you good news from the Word of God. The Word of God is forever settled in heaven. Amen. It is eternal. Yes. And because our God whom we serve is an eternal God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a wonderful God. It is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. And He came to save us from, from the destruction of this worldly things. Of this world mm. the world as we we know in today's generation is in uh, a lot of crisis especially uh, there in um, the Middle East and uh, we are praying we believe in the power of prayer we believe Amen. that God's hand are upon those that are that are prayerful yes. and he keep us prayerful to keep us to be watchmen on, and uh, women on the walls that we must keep on praying with, without stop, non-stop praying, continuously praying when we see, see things, what is happening in this world around us. We yeah. see the crisis uh, uh, that is happening, uh, the conflicts between the nation, as Jesus said in Matthew 24, that nation will rise up against nation. Amen. But we rejoice because we know that our redemption draw nigh mm. and we know that our Lord Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Amen. As it says here, the glorious company. You know, this is our brothers and sisters that went to be with the Lord already. And we are glad that we know, as, as it says here, uh, for you have not come to the mountain that may that, that may be touched and that burned with fire and to blackness and darkness and tempest and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words so that those who heard it begged that the word should not be spoken mm. to them anymore. Why? That This is talking about Moses where, that went, the only person that can go into the, the, the glorious uh, presence of God and uh, his first prison was there on Mount Sinai mm. uh, when he fled from Pharaoh because uh, Pharaoh was killing the, the uh, 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 Pharaoh's soldiers were killing the people mm. by eating them and they some of them died and it's very hot in Egypt they died mm. and they left them right there and he saw the, all these things happen and he knew that his root mm. is from uh, the Hebrew people. Yes. And then he killed that person, mm. that uh, uh, Hebrew, uh, uh, that was uh, not the Hebrew, then he killed the person that killed the Hebrew, mm. the Egyptian soldier. And f uh, of that uh, that he has done, he had to fl fled from Egypt. Mm. And uh, because they wanted to kill him. But God gave, uh, gave uh, uh, all was in God's plan and purpose mm, for him yes. to go there to meet his future wife, yes. Zipporah, mm. the Midianite, and uh, also the Midianite uh, priest, uh, uh, father Jethro. And all this was all in the divine plan of yes. God. So now we know that Moses, when he died, uh, mm. you know, uh, that on, uh, 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 before they entered into the, uh, the promised land, the promised land mm. God led them out of Egyptian, you yes. know, of the, of, of the Egyptian ways in the wilderness mm. and also through the, uh, first through the Red Sea. And when they went, they went into the, the uh, through the, the wilderness, through the promised land. Mm. The promised land is is Israel. Israel belongs mm. to God, number Amen. one, and to His people. Yes. And we are thankful that God is restoring already from heaven to earth mm. Israel. Israel is going to be restored, even if they fight. We hear on the news, the world news, that they want to, they're killing people there. Mm. They're fighting Israel. They're fighting the people of God up till this generation. Yes. And uh, even there in Ukraine. But mm. we know our God never slumbers, nor is asleep, and He's awake. And He's always watchful over us. Mm. And uh, let me just read you about the glorious company. It says here, For they could not endure what was commanded. And if so much as a beast touches a mountain, mm. it shall be stoned or yes. shot with an arrow. Mm. And it says here, And so... Terrifying was a sight that Moses said, I am exceedingly afraid and trembling. Mm. Moses said it because he knew, he, he didn't know that it was a God, but I'm sure Jethro told him when mm. he told Jethro about his experience, about the burning bush that couldn't burn out, but God spoke to him through that mm. burning bush. Hallelujah. Mm. Because God is a consuming fire. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and we are so glad, but we know, but you, it says here, but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heaven, a heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, mm. to the general assembly of church and church of the firstborn born, uh, who are registered in heaven, to God the judge mm. of all, that uh, to the spirit of just men made perfect to Jesus a mediator of mm. the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks yes. better things than that of Abel. You can explain what I just read here. This was a time when, when uh, God called um, Moses up to, to the mountain to, uh, to receive the Ten Commandments, to receive the law that Moses had to read to the, to the Israelites. That's why the further on in the same, uh, in, in, in the book of Hebrews, it says like the, the law was confirmed by a, a host of angels. And even as we read yesterday they, that uh, um, when, uh, when they stoned Stephen, he said that the, the law that was given to the Jews, it, it was spoken, uh, it was also brought by angels. And if, the, if, if a, the word of the angels was so powerful, how much more the blood of Jesus. And here Moses even, the, uh, Hebrew speaks about when even if they had to put a fence around Mount Sinai, and even if a if an animal touched that fence, it had to it had to be killed. But you know, when Christ came and Christ died for yes, us, that, the fence was taken away. Anybody could come freely into the presence of God now, mm. freely into into uh, 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 receiving from God. And even the um, as as we see that uh, we could enter because of the of, of the deliverance that Christ brought on the on the cross. And we see that this, it, it, it shows here, it speaks here about how, how much greater uh, Jesus is than Moses. Then Moses receives the law on the mountain and, and it, it prevented people from coming to, 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 uh, to the mountain into the presence of God. But when Christ was lifted out on the mountain of, uh, of Golgotha, on the mountain of the skull, he broke all the chains, he broke the, uh, the, the curtain, was torn in two, the, the, the fence was removed, and now anybody could actually come freely. The Word of God says we can come freely, because someone greater than Moses, who is Jesus, came to sacrifice also on a mountain, also on a mountain, and we, th and we thank God for, for, for reminding us that uh, now, we are at liberty, whilst in those days they weren't at liberty. They had to come through priests and the high priest, but Christ is our high priest right now. Amen. Amen. That is so awesome. Thank you for that uh, short and sweet uh, message. And it's here, that, uh, from verse 25, it says here that, See that you do not refuse him who speaks, for if they did not escape who refused him, who spoke on earth, mm -hmm. much more shall we escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth. But mm -hmm. uh, now he was promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this yet once more indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken mm -hmm. as of things that are made, that they th that the things that which cannot be shaken, may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, mm. let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with mm. reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Mm. You see, as I said, Moses couldn't come close to that. Uh, he couldn't come, and when that voice spoke to him, that was God's voice said to him, Take off your shoes because this is holy ground. Mm. And he obeyed that voice immediately. So that's why we must also obey the heavenly voice. When God speak and say, don't do that, we mustn't mm. do it. Amen. And when God spoke to us to say, start the ministry, we start immediately. And when God said, don't go that direction, we didn't go that direction. Mm. We go the direction which his spirit tells us to do. Yes. And uh, which his spirit led us to go. And we are glad that we hear what the Spirit of the Lord mm. say because it is so very, very important. 
And I want my husband just to uh, conclude with a model direction. It's very important. It's from verse 1. Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 1. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison, and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Amen. So, no, this is just the conclusion that the writer to the, of, the Hebrew, uh, of the book of Hebrews write to, to his uh, uh, listeners and to the people that he was uh, uh, familiar with where he says uh, the brothers and sisters must care for one another mm -hmm. and so also not only for one another but also to strangers because you know that that uh, um, it says here without knowing uh, uh, strangers are not always strangers they are sometimes angels sent to us mm -hmm. and uh, we don't uh, realize that we don't recognize that and we treat people like strangers. But actually here God says it might be a, 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 a um, it might be a, an angel. It, it happened in the Old Testament when, when the angels went to visit Abraham mm. to tell them about the, uh, about the birth of Isaac and the promises that God made. Mm. And it was angels and he, and he didn't realize it, but only after he made a sacrifice, mm. he realized those people were angels. And it also says that it, it warns us once again about immorality, that God hates immorality, uh, hates adultery, he hates things that He has instituted as holy. God mm -hmm. instituted marriage in the book of Genesis already as holy. So He hates adultery, He hates, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, immoral. Immoral behavior. Mm -hmm. Then He also says that, uh, that we must have Keep, uh, we mustn't have uh, uh, the love of money. Uh, the, another uh, apostle wrote that the, uh, uh, the, the love of money is the root of all evil. God says we must be content with what we have. You see, Pete, uh, Paul writes the same thing, that he's content in all circumstances. Sometimes we are not content with what we have. We want more than what we have, or we want something else that we don't even need. But God says be content, because if we're not content, then easily uh, temptation can come in because it, it can it can make it can cause us to do things with, that we shouldn't do to get things that we don't need or don't need now. And so God, the word of God is so full of uh, so full of uh, uh, um, encouragements and warnings mm. yes. that goes with what um, Ever is read now about the, the Mount Zion. It, some some of us might not realize what's the connection. But when we come to Christ, all these things is important in our lives that we remember that we're not the same as the people in the world. We're not the same as the unbeliever. We have a different standard. We, we can go to God and we can ask God for forgiveness and we can empty His presence by His grace. We can empty His throne room and receive from Him a pardon. We can uh, receive from Him forgiveness. But He also tells us, He gives us guidelines how to live as a as we have read now from from uh, verse 1 to 6. Amen. Yeah, and then there's also a concluding of the religion direction that we must stay in the power and of the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, uh, you know, because we is a consuming fire, you know, and uh, it is awesome to be in His presence daily. Awesome to know that He's with us, He never leaves us, He never forsakes us. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. And it says here, therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifices of praise to give to God, uh, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to him, to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share with, the, uh, with such uh, sacrifices good 
God is well pleased with that. Obey those who rule over you and be submissive, for they watch out for your souls as those who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. Uh, pray for us, as uh, for we, uh, we are confident that we have, uh, have a good conscience in all things, desiring to live honorably, but I especially urge you to do this that I may be restored to you, uh, to, to you the sooner. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, hallelujah, through the blood of everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight through mm. Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I appeal to you, brethren, be with the word of, of, of uh, with the word of exhortation, for I have written to you in a few words. Know that our brother Timothy has been set free, with whom I shall see you even uh, uh, you if he comes shortly. Greet all those who rule over you, and all saints uh, those from Italy greet you. Grace be with you. You see, Paul Amen. went out as far as Italy. He went far out to, br to bring the gospel. Yes. The gospel is so important. The gospel is so evident. Mm. And the gospel is uh, yea and amen. amen. And we are so glad that we could share with you the wonderful news from the Bible. Now we want to bring you short news from, yeah, from the, uh, uh, the, what is happening in our country. It says here, what happened in KwaZulu Natal? It says here a place of weeping. Why? Because destruction has come in that place. And uh, uh, this is part of the end time, uh, what Jesus has said in Matthew 24, that uh, 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 conflicts will happen in, the, in, in many uh, places. Amen. Uh, uh, tsunamis. This is not a tsunami. This was a flood. And floods uh, has happened here. Uh, rain has come and people are suffering. So we pray. We believe in the power mm. of prayer. We're praying for, for all nations and our own nations here in South Africa. This is in, in KwaZulu Natal in uh, South Africa. And uh, uh, we pray for the nation out there. We pray for our government that they must do the right decisions, that they must uh, uh, help the people out there. Yes. You know, because some uh, governments and that things about only about themselves and they forget about the nations. They forget about their own people. And now we want you to, pl to pray for the place of weeping. Because God says that uh, uh, if you pray and help out, you know, that, uh, you know about this, what is happened, they call it the battered by nature's wrath. And uh, also, you know, if you look in the, what, you know, if you see how the mudslide has happened, because we lived there from 1980 to 81, and we know what, what a type of place it is it's a very rainy place, sub, mm. sub, uh, what do you call it? Subtropical. Subtropical, yeah, climate. And uh, we lived there for almost a year uh, when we just got married now from 1980 to 81. And we know, you know, you was in the Navy that time and we know how uh, a rainy season it is and how muddy it can become in, in that place. But uh, of KwaZulu Natal. And we want to say thank you for the Lord to, uh, that I believe that He has already undertaken. Uh, for that place. Amen. We will come back with more great news from the Word of God and also our God is still reigning from heaven to earth. Although this has happened, He's still protecting His people. We are also His people. And even the, the people from KwaZulu Natal belongs to Him as well. Because we pray for every nation. Amen. And we will continue doing so. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just want you to pray for the people there and, and uh, in Israel and uh, Ukraine, and then we've done for the day. Father, we just thank you that we can once again come before you and bring the nation of Israel before you. Yes, Father, we thank you that they are the apple of your eye. Yes, we Lord. pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the protection, Father God. Lord, that your hand will be over them. Lord, that the plans of the enemy will come to naught in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, those attacks and the planned attacks on Israel. We pray, Father God, that you will counter it, Father God, and that it will not happen. 
We pray this in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that you more and more Jews are coming to repentance, Father, and uh, accepting the true Messiah as a as a Lord and Savior. We thank you that you open the eyes of the Jews, Father God, and that you will bless them, that yes, you will save them. Yes. We bring Ukraine to you, Father God, a country devastated by the invasion of Russia, Lord God, and death and destruction in the refugees, Father God. More than four million people has left the country already. We pray that you will undertake there, Father God, that you are a good God, that you will save God that nation, that you will turn around that war, Father, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Father God, that Russia will stop its aggression, Father God, mm -hmm. and if he does not listen, that you will intervene mightily, Father God, to, to stand on the side, Father God, of the Ukrainian people. They are a minority, Father God. They, Lord, they do not have the weapons that Russia has. But we know, Father God, when we, you are for a nation, Lord, the, that nation can be victorious. And we thank you, we bless you, we praise you, and we worship you, Father God. Because we remember that when Israel was attacked shortly after they became, Father God, a, a, a nation, Father God, Lord, they, they conquered uh, nations and armies bigger than them, bigger than them, Father God. And so we ask, Lord, that you will be with the Ukrainian as you were with the Israelites, with the Jewish nation early in their nationhood, Father God. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. We honor you, we bless you, we give you praise, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.